the strip show must go on. Stormy Daniels, the porn star best known for her fling with President Trump, is doing four shows at the Admiral Theatre this weekend, after storming out on Thursday night threatening to make it a one-night stand. Why she left, isn't he said she said. He, theatre owner Sam Sokola, said that she asked for more money. He also said, to the Chicago Tribune, that he thought her show was nothing to write home about. He has since walked back both of those statements. SH he said, through her assistant Dwayne Crawford, that is was a series of issues that made her walk on Thursday. For example. They had a little guy dressed up like Trump who they wanted to have jump out of a cake on stage. We avoid political situations with shows because we're in the middle of a lawsuit, Crawford told the paper. People who were there for the sold-out show on Thursday said that it started late and lasted about 15-20 minutes. It started with a big birthday cake rolled out onto the stage, and expectations were high since it was President Trump's birthday. But Daniel stayed away from anything political and anything Trump. She did her show, and then she left quickly before the meet and greet, which disappointed some fans. Like Sean Buck, who wanted to share a picture of himself with Daniels with his Republican aunt, I'm disappointed just in the sense that I've been here longer than I would want to be in a strip club. On Friday morning, however, the Thursday night storm had blown over and everything was straightened out, and the theater issued a press release with an apology to Daniels. The Admiral Theater sincerely regrets any comments that have been made, either publicly or privately, that have been disparaging of Miss Daniels and her team, owner Sam Sokola said in a statement. The Admiral Theater loves Stormy Daniels and her team and welcomes them as family back to the club. Club director Nick Sokola said that anyone who missed out on getting a picture with Stormy on Thursday will be welcomed back over the weekend. Daniels, who was born Stephanie Clifford, first came to national attention in January when it was reported that Trump's personal lawyer Michael Cohen paid her $130,000 to sign a non-disclosure agreement just 11 days before the 2016 presidential election. She is making the most of it this summer with her Make America Horny Again tour.